All right, how's it going everyone? So I got a new MacBook Air M1 and I wanted to kind of just give a really basic benchmark and kind of show you why I upgraded it to begin with. Honestly, it's because my old MacBook, my personal MacBook of 2015 was just getting really slow. Uh, it wasn't really fast. Coding in it was just not fun, which made me not really want to come and do live streams because it's very hard to code on a live stream with a slow computer. And then recording videos is also kind of painful. So I wanted to just buy a new Mac maybe improve the quality of my YouTube and, you know, make make myself more dedicated. So what I'm going to do to kind of benchmark and show the differences of, you know, why I upgraded is I'm going to go ahead and just load up Chrome and kind of show you, maybe go to Wikipedia and show you if it's, if, if it's responsive or not. So click on Chrome. Actually, I think um, I might need to close out of this first. All right, and I'll go to Wikipedia. Go ahead and go to Wikipedia. So <clears throat> you'll see I did the same benchmark with my other laptop, but my other laptop, like this, this, this simple process of loading up Chrome and going to Wikipedia was actually kind of slow. Um, so let's do the other test that I wanted to do was just uh, loading up VS Code. So let's go ahead and load up VS Code and kind of go to a project folder that I already have. I'll go to my workspace here and I'll go to a thumbnail generator. And I'm going to go ahead and do an npm run dev. So, okay, well, my terminal failed to launch for some reason. npm run dev. Go ahead and click on this and go to my local host. And I can click around through pages. And I don't have my .env file set up, so there is going to be a bug. Um, but overall, I mean, like, let me just go to, like, pages index. And save some stuff, maybe mess up my styling, or let's see if I can find like a, a file that has actual TypeScript checks on it. Let's just like do this. All right, so overall, I mean, it's much faster, it's much snappier than it was with uh, my other MacBook. And again, this benchmark kind of sucks. I didn't really, th really think too hard about like how to run a solid benchmark, but overall, I mean, it's a lot more responsive. I'm able to do a lot more and that's exactly what I need for when I start doing more live streams. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you the uh, results of my other MacBook and you can kind of see the visual comparison of how slow it might be. By the way, there is one thing I don't like about this M1 Air that I probably should have researched before I bought it. And it's that the monitor resolution is an aspect ratio of 10, uh, sorry, 1610, right? But, to record 1080p YouTube videos, you need 16.9, I believe, which is like what you need to support 920 by 1080, which is 1080p. So unfortunately, there's not a good way to take my MacBook M1 Air screen resolution and get it to match this format. I think the only way I'm gonna be able to achieve true 1080p is if I set up an external monitor and then buy an adapter because the M1 Air only has Thunderbolt ports. But to buy like a Thunderbolt port to HDMI, hook up an external adapter, and then do all my recording off of that. I like working off a laptop. I don't like using external monitors. It's just a personal preference. I have some reasons, but so that's gonna kind of suck if um, I'm gonna have to buy an external monitor just to give you true 1080p. So that's why you see my video format, I have it like the screen kind of shrunk to the left and then I have my little webcam up to the right. But if maybe, if, if you guys don't see an issue with the current screen setup that I have in this video right now, then maybe I'll just keep doing this. Again, this is kind of what you'd see in a live stream anyway, if you have like a an OBS overlay setup. So that's the idea of why you're seeing some like weird background on my videos now and not a full screen code editor. But if you think I just need to set up an external monitor, let me know. Um, also join my Discord if you want to ask me questions directly or give me some feedback on my channel. I'm always open to feedback. I want to make this content as good as possible for you all, entertaining and educational. Um, so yeah, let me show you the Mac Book 2015, the old laptop I used to use. And you can kind of just do the, uh, the visual comparison yourself. All right, so I want to give some like benchmarks to compare my old MacBook 2015 against my new M1 MacBook that just came in, my M1 Air. 
So I don't really have any formal benchmarks set up. All I'm gonna do is just like open some stuff and pretend like I'm coding. And we'll kind of compare the speed difference. Maybe you can just look at the timestamps of the video and see how long some stuff took. So just opening Chrome, let us see how long it takes to actually load up Chrome and maybe go to like Wikipedia or something. <clears throat> Obviously I need to have a bunch more tabs open if I'm actually coding, but you can see it's kind of kind of sluggish, right? So I don't know, my Mac my MacBook's just super old. I'm also low battery, so that's gonna affect my performance too. Let's try another test where I'm just gonna load up VS Code. And I'm gonna go and try to spin up a Next.js application. Alright, so go ahead and open up the terminal here and let's see if we can find a workspace project that I've been doing. So my workspace, I'll go ahead and go to a, um, a thumbnail generator. This is the Next.js project. So I should be able to run this with npm run dev. But I mean, as you can see, like it just, it struggles. Like it's just stuck here loading. It took like three, four seconds to actually switch projects. I can't even use a terminal right now. I like, I still can't use it. All right, now I actually get a cursor here. Terminal's ready to go. NPM run, oh, I'm not even in the right directory. Let me go to uh, thumbnail generator, NPM run dev. And it's just, it's just kind of sluggish, right? So what makes it even worse, it's like, okay, I'm trying to load up the app right now and it's going to sit here spinning for a while. Right, switching pages is just slow. Everything is just super slow. And then even coding, like I don't know if I'll be able to demonstrate this, but if I were to go to like one of my pages uh, and just make a syntax error with like TypeScript, that's wrong. Like you see how long it's taking just to like highlight the syntax of this TypeScript file? Like it took like five seconds for it. Uh, obviously like you probably need to do more thorough benchmarking if you want to get a better idea, but. All right, so that wraps up the little benchmarking. Hopefully this was kind of useful. I know it was really short and like not really that th thorough, but I wanted to kind of publish something out just to kind of show that I got my new MacBook and I am using it and I will be using it now for future videos and streams. So I'm kind of stoked on that and I'm excited to be able to code and not have it lag. So anyway, have a good day and happy coding.